Friends of yours. Pussy ass motherfuckers used to wait for me. Those assholes are getting ideas. Let's see him explain this to Sal. Come on, you dipshits. Come get me. <laughs> <laughs> Explosives in a couple of spots I got round the quarry. No way I'm just walking away and leaving all this to Sal. Right? You weren't kidding about these explosives. That's life in a quarry. Back in the day, we tried sticking our pickers in the ground and fucking the stone out, but all we ended up with was chap nutsacks. <laughs> Got it. They teach you that in the army? Nope. Sunday school. Back in the day, I'd have been out there fighting alongside of you. Or going up against me. <laughs> that I wouldn't have been good for you, son. Hands over tying on us. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> If you consider shithole rice patties beautiful, then grab a one-way ticket. But for me, it's just shit
Let's blow this top stand. You gotta be fucking kidding me. We got all sorts of supplies in these trailers. Maybe something you can use. Guess we'll see how well you learn. Hey, Enzo, you know this ain't poisonal, right? It's life. Don't get more poisonal than that, cocksucker. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the same thing! You okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Said some of these men work for you. Not some of them, all of them. That should do it. Kai's through here. God damn. You like? Nah, I love. Give me there and I'll make a financial contribution to your cause. They got it blocked. I bet if we can bust through the gate. What about the train tunnel? The tunnel? <laughs> it's your call. Bigger in your fucking way. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Guess I'm retired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. You can't kill me. I am the cockroach. King cockroach. <laughs> I think I just messed myself. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. Oh, that's right. I am the cockroach. King cockroach. <laughs> Enzo, calm down, man. They can't even hear you. Fuck him in the eye. <laughs> ah, shit. Right here. 
Where am I dropping you? I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a fucking bag with her. I should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. So, yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having time of our lives. This was uh, 1942. No, 43. He must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying, smacks him a bit, wakes him up. But every time she starts getting into it, Sammy drops. Poor bastard couldn't stay awake to save his fucking life. Finally, she's had enough and storms out of there, cursing the goddamn Blue Street. And do you know who that woman was? Perla? Perla? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 44. I'll show you who it was. I got the photo right here. Are you kidding me? Sammy had a shot with her. She was passing through on her way to Hollywood. But it all worked out, didn't it? Sammy wound up with Perla. The 